Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. But who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board-certified criminal defense lawyer. We are reacting to uh, Last Day Out by Rio, the young OG. Now, this is where we kind of started this channel. Uh, we started out with Melly, uh, Murder on My Mind, and uh, we haven't done one of these in a while, so this will be kind of fun. I haven't seen this. Um, this is... Uh, a suggestion by our content genius, Michael, the content genius, Rivers. Now, I, I haven't seen this. This is, comes to us from the Detroit Flint rap scene, which is, I guess, is blown up. Um, and it's a very distinct style. I haven't seen this, so uh, we'll just kind of uh, play it. But before we do, this is brought to you by eSign.com. eSign.com, an effective way to remotely do business. If you have any kind of agreement that you need to sign, but you can't get the parties together, or it's just much quicker to do it by email, go to eSign.com. You download the app. You get three free signatures a month. If uh, if it's not eSign, no one signs. eSign.com, an effective way to remotely, remotely do business. I use it all the time, all the time for out-of-state retainer agreements, and you can too. So eSign.com. So let's get right to it. This is Last Day Out, an official video by Rio de Young OG. This is where we this is where it's our bread and butter. Let's let's go. 2 M Digital. Mark, Mark. What up, Mark Bowman? <clears throat> you know what's up. Man. All right, well, now we got see I, I got my I got my bling right here. I got my uh well, I got Brightling is what I got. It's kinda I, I like watches. So we're starting off kind of on the same last day out, you know what I'm saying? Last day out. What does that kind of mean? Probably this last day before he takes a plea. That shit ain't shit. This is my last day out. I'm finna jump fresh. Pull a hundred K out. Go to the set. It'll be God if I find a pound of high tech. So this is my last day out. I'm finna jump fresh. Pull a hundred K out. Go to the set. Uh, it'll be God if I find a, a, a pint of high tech. So, I mean, he's talking about uh, probably just getting one last... Uh, you know, high tech is, I think it's a form of lean. Gotta go out with a bang on my last sip. Still got BMI checks, I ain't cash yet. YouTube checks rolling in, I ain't even I will not paranoid at all, I ain't even sweat. Gotta go out with a bang on my last slip. So it's like you're, you're one last hurrah before you, you get uh, going to custody. Got BMI checks, I ain't cash yet. YouTube checks rolling in, I ain't check. I wasn't paranoid at all, I ain't even sweat. So he's got he's got the money coming in, but he still is gonna be losing his freedom. It sounds like. Twenty racks on the flow right now. I'm gonna need that. Three years and eight months. I'll be right back. Three years, eight months. That's forty-four months. He'll be right back. So, any, you know, I I love it when they they take big, huge wads of cash, um, because that's you know because it looks good on on camera, but generally speaking, if you're driving down the street. Probably not a good idea to just hold your big wad of cash out your window. Quarter million put up. I can sleep like that. But I'm really nervous though. I can't even cap. I just bought my second crib and BM got the last. Probably so that's a that's a good point. Um, quarter million put up. I could uh, sleep like that. But I'm really nervous though. I can't even cap. In other words, look, I'm about to do 44 months. I just built all this. Remember what I tell you about, guys about building and... You know, when you build, 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 you know, you make better decisions. And all of a sudden, he's built something up, right? And he's not sure what's going to happen. That's why he's nervous because he's got to go do 44 months. Oh, and he says, uh, I just bought my second crib and baby's mama got the last crib. So that's the other thing, guys. Make sure you protect yourself. Sell my 550, snatch off the rep. I can make a hundred racks quick. I just got a rep. I know I'm out on fed by him, but I got a strap. I got too many chains. I know I'm not on Fed, but, but I got a strap. Shouldn't be holding a weapon and then rapping about it if, you, if, you're on, if you're on federal conditions of release. That's another five years, mandatory minimum. So I ain't trying to scrap. Dig her down off a of perk, made her wobble back. I think I <laughs> Dig her down off perk, uh, made her wobble back. <laughs> we all know what that means, don't we? 
I should bring her to the studio to watch me rap. Your grandbaby doing good, just made another hundred. My mama lost to the state, me and my little brother. Baby ghost, I told you to chill. We gotta. My mama lost me to the state, me and my little brother. That's kind of sad, really, when you think about it. But grandma, grandma's there, and grandma's the rock. Get some money. Just think about what mama used to make a split a hundred. Man, nigga, on my kids. God strike me down, I made this to tonight. I ain't gonna say today. I woke up at 11 p.m., bro. I swear to God, I'm like, no. It's 8.30 in the morning. And I made this on a light tip, though. So this is why I keep getting up, grinding every day, you know? You gotta build. I feel it in my stomach. I dicked her down. Bitch say she feel it in her stomach. I might turn my... I dicked her down. Bitch say she feel it in her stomach. Um, I think it just means he, he gave her something to eat and it didn't agree with her. Maybe. Myself in in a Prada jumper. Just know when I get out, a helicopter coming. Man, them bitches hit your baby with conspiracy. Took the blame for a phone call. It wasn't really. Them bitches. Took a blame for a phone call. You put anything on the phone and you're getting tapped, guess what? Uh, man, them bitches hit your baby with a conspiracy. Took the blame for a phone call. It wasn't really me. Um, so what he's basically saying is that uh, he's taking the hit for somebody else. So, and, and when you think about the, the actual word conspiracy, all conspiracy is, is is an agreement between two or more people and then an act in furtherance of the conspiracy. The object of the conspiracy does not have to be completed. So you can wind up getting 40, and you don't even have to even know your uh, co-conspirators. Federally speaking, is uh, conspiracy is so easy to prove for the, the government and it is very, very liberally construed. So just about anything you can do can be an act in furtherance of conspiracy and you might not even know it. Grab me tight, alien, my nigga C. Talking about the fucking city boys, Are you kidding me? I don't even know them niggas in my paper. And I ain't saying nobody snitching unless I see the paper first. Yeah. I don't even know them fellas in my paperwork. And that's what I'm telling you. You don't have to know your co-conspirators. The organization could be something f much larger and you can just be a small part of it. And guess what? You're in for a penny, you're in for a pound. You're uh, liable for the acts of your co-conspirators both pre and post. So unless you have absolutely nothing to do with the conspiracy, you're liable for the whole thing. And I ain't, I ain't saying nobody's snitching unless I see their paperwork first. And the paperwork, once you get to prison, they always want to see your paperwork. And because if you don't show them your paperwork, they don't have to wait to see it. They think you're going to be a snitch anyway. I knocked the bitch out, but I maced her first. Remember standing at the gate? Yeah, I knocked the bitch out, but I maced her first. Gas <laughs> station trying to take a purse. Now I'm freestyling, drinking cough syrup, taking perks. Yeah, I drinking cough syrup, taking perks. Sounds like a good afternoon to me. Mixtape, you got to pay me first. But I'm going to still drop heat. Y'all got to stream it. Even though it's going to be a while for y'all see me. I'm coming back 10 times harder, guarantee it. Plea agreement came in, I ain't read it. Just give me all the time. Plea agreement came in, I ain't read it. How smart is that? What? I got 188 to 235? You didn't tell me that. Here's the thing. You get a plea agreement, you have to go through it line by line with your with your client. And then once they get into court, the judge and the prosecutor will read that agreement almost line for line. I mean, I want to because I ain't see shit. Just because he got 30 months don't mean he snitched. If you ain't see the evidence, then you can eat dick. 44 months seem long, but it's... If you ain't seen the evidence, you can eat dick. I guess what that means is you don't talk about my case unless you've seen the evidence. Not really eat a dick. Even call a bitch to week six. Can't be mad because I signed up for this street shit. Got it out the mud. I do not accept free shit. Man, they lying if they said the young OJ and put the city on. When you locked up, they'll treat you like you dead and gone. That, unless, unless it's super good family, that happens on the street. You, you are kind of nothing to people when you're locked up. You know, I, I've had some guys that, you know, religiously would uh, put money in somebody's books. But it's a lonely place when all of a sudden you go away. And he, what does he say? He says, I'm going to go away for 44 months and it won't seem long. No, it it, it changes your life. Do they know I'm coming home to a letter, bro? Like an M or something. And my bitch texting me like the dinner done. Man, the ops clicked up, I bought a bigger gun. Seven Man, the ops uh, clicked up, I bought a bigger gun. Ugh. I hate to see that, honestly. Five just to get the kitchen done. Bullets in the 308 look like a little thumb. All right, I got so much sauce on me like a chicken nugget. Dior B20. <laughs> I 
I got so much sauce on me, like a chicken nugget. I think what he's talking about is he's got so much ice and, you know, whatever. Um, or he's just got some barbecue sauce all over his stomach. Who's off the prison jumper? I'm going to be gone for a minute, but my nigga's coming. My nigga's coming harder than ever. Yeah, my nigga's finna go hard. Ghetto boys, bitch on the yard, I'm a bogart. Probably got 50, 60 racks in my go yard. Uh, my fellow's uh, finna go hard, ghetto boys, bitch, on the yard. I'm a bogart. What does that mean, I'm a bogart? I'm not sure if that reference to the next one is the... Probably got 50, 60 yeah. racks in my, in my go-vart. Go-yard. It's a brand. That's like a, it's like a fashion brand. Like it's Samsung or whatever. All right. So he basically, what he's saying, he's got 50 to 60 grand sitting in his, in his uh, fanny pack. Nigga, you do not own a crib. How the fuck you own a crib? You stand an AP. You ain't got no yard. How the, how the fuck you own a crib? You stun an AP that's out of market P. Gay, uh, which is a very expensive watch, and you ain't got no yard. <laughs> that's that means you are watch, watch rich, uh, but you know you're, you're just blowing your money on the bling. And that's one of my beefs with some of these guys is is it's all about the show instead of about substance. You know what I mean? So you're, you're better off buying stuff that's going to produce something. I mean, when you get all that ice, it doesn't it doesn't produce anything except for envy and somebody else, and they want to rip you off. Hey, I'll be right back, though. Look, ghetto boys in this bitch, nigga. Free the whole ghetto. Free. I'm giving you niggas a chance to catch back up. God damn it. I'm finna go go down, lay down, go to sleep for three years, eight months. Y'all niggas got three years to catch up, bro. So I, I, I like the, the theme, you know. In other words, he's putting a positive spin on it, saying, look, you guys, I'm, I'm going to take a little hiatus. Try to catch up to me. This is actually kind of a glimpse into the mindset of somebody who's been successful and all of a sudden has to do a stint. Uh, 44 months by and large is, is not a ton of time. Um, let's just see how much time that is. I can tell you exactly how much time that is. If you, um, if you go 44 months times 0.85 federally, that means 37 months. And if you get the RDAP program, that's the drug and alcohol rehabilitation program, take 12 off of that. So it's basically a little over two years, um, be 25 months. He was convicted or had entered a plea to possession of a firearm in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime. He got five years, which is not that much. So he must not have had a lot of criminal history. Um, I can't tell you. It seems like every case I get, you know, that's the guidelines is just through the roof. So he was charged in a conspiracy to distribute uh, cocaine and heroin, and he wound up pleading to a gun charge, uh, possession of a firearm in uh, furtherance of a drug conspiracy. Even though he says 44, that's probably what he thought he was going to get, but he pled to, to 60 months, which makes sense because that's the mandatory minimum. And he, if he got the mandatory minimum, he, he didn't have to snitch. And, and if he didn't snitch, the judge cannot go below that. So it's a hard cap uh, so or hard floor as to, you know, the judge can't go below those 60 months. So this is just our reaction to Rio, uh, the young OG, last day out and uh you know it's just a it's a it's a glimpse into the the thinking of somebody in his capacity as he uh as he gets prepared for prison and it's a heady thing because you lose your family um you lose your freedom you lose your ability to earn and uh and he can't create while he's in there so i don't think anyway make sure you follow us on instagram follow us on twitter um subscribe and sign up for Patreon because we're going to do some cool things on Patreon. Uh, you get a free hat and we're going to start doing Saturday sessions uh, where you get to have a, a one on one with me and I'll answer questions. If you've got potential issues, we can talk about those too. And we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gonna get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gonna get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please is that my goal?